Hey guys, John from 1UP Reviews and today we've got a look at the Vance pen collaboration with their Lowland CC. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap those thumbs up, we want to see those likes. Drop some comments in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment. And a thank you to all our day one subscribers and those who've been with us for, for ages. Thank you, without this, you know, we can't do these videos. So let's get into it. So today we've got a look at the Vans Pen collaboration and Pen, for those that don't know, are a tennis ball manufacturers in the US. I know what you're thinking, it's not Wilson, it's not Stasinger, those are the only two that I know personally. It's because of Wimbledon and the US Open. Never heard of Pen, so it's quite dope that Vans have reached out to I want to say relatively unknown, but they reached out to another broad horizon and reached out to tennis. With all, all that said, we've got a look at the Lowland CC in the white and navy colorway. And we got this in the UK 7.5, it's European 41, and then it is a men's US 8.5. Before we get unboxing, it's such a subtle box. You've got the minimalistic Vans Pen Collab logo that's on the top of the lid and you'll find it at the front as well where the labels are. And let's get a look at So here, this is a nice touch though. So if I remember correctly, this is the bag that the tennis balls come in. So it's nice that they've added their sneakers on. Voila, very clean, very minimalistic. No, not mad at it. So we'll start with the outsole and with this outsole, it is an all rubber outsole. You can tell by that waffle, it's Vans, but if you don't even know clearly, there it is with the Vans logo in the middle. Moving along onto the upper, now surprisingly, as I mentioned about the midsole, it's quite light, it's quite... The sneak is deceivingly light, if that makes any sense. And that is mostly because of the foam midsole. Very cushiony. I mean, vans were built for skating, so it's there for your support and for the underside of your feet. Move along onto the upper. Now, the website is, says that this is leather. To me, it doesn't feel like leather. It feels like the plastic leather, pleather, whatever you want to call it. But it... <laughs> Came in a nice touch. To be fair, upon closer inspection, it's not really white, this is quite gray. Regardless, as we move on to the highlights of this sneaker, so on the medial and the lateral side of the sneaker, you've got a flying V logo. As Vans' other logo, you find it on a various bunch of their other sneakers. Moving along onto the toe box area. So there's some perforations for a little bit of breathability. Going along to the lacing system, it's a normal lacing system. Not gonna lie to you guys, this we cheated, we laced it prior to the unboxing, that's why they're laced. Um, usually vans don't come laced, so you have to do all that hard work yourself. The tongue is quite nicely padded, you've got the vans logo at the top there. Going along onto the back where the heel is, so you've got the pen logo stitched just above the midsole. And you can see the flying V goes all the way to the back. Now the insole is where you get all the cush, uh, well not cush, you know, but I mean the comfy cush. And that's Vans' new insole system, their new comfort system. We've done a review of the old school comfy cush, comfy cush, there we go. Right there, check it out. It's a good, uh, it was a good review. I was very surprised. So if I'm expecting anything in regards to comfort like that, these should be a nice fit and a very nice sneaker to wear. You can see it in the insole with the Comfy Kush logo and you've got a pen logo as well. And that wraps it there. Uh, just to go on the little bells and whistles, you got these little lace locks your laces. I mean, you can put this in your pens if you want as well. 
and on the aglets you've got the little pen logo to round it off. So I can't wait to try these on. If these are anything like the other Comfy Kush vans that we've done in the past, I'm excited. Here we go, roll that footage and me try these on. When it comes to the fit guys, I do recommend you get your true to size Vans fit. Now in regards to comfortability, it feels very tight on the top of my feet. There is a bit of space at the top, but in regards to width and fit, it's just about fine. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end on Instagram. Until next time, peace.